All right, hello, hello, and today, or and welcome, I guess. Uh, today, <laughs> brilliant start. Uh, I'm playing Disco Elysium. At least I'm gonna try starting it. From what I understand, this is gonna be a lot of reading. Um, but it's a fascinating game that I've heard good things about. A friend of mine, Adam, just played this game uh, and was uh, left very with a very positive experience. Um, warning, <laughs> with a very positive experience to the point that. After we had talked about it, I said, I, I'm going to have to get that eventually. He bought a copy for me and gave me it. Say so thank you, Adam. <laughs> Appreciate it a ton. And apparently it was uh, worth, or so good that uh, it was worth buying again to make me play. I tried to set up Twitch integration, but it doesn't work. I don't know why, but act like it wouldn't give me the key no matter what I did. So it was just completely dead. Which is a huge shame, because I definitely wanted to try having that on. It seemed like an interesting idea, because it basically allows anyone who's watching to go and look at a spec list and, like, a sheet of what's going on in my game. Would have been pretty cool if it were working. It is not working. So, I, I guess whatever. I did what I could. <laughs> uh, he might, maybe. I think he probably got it from Humble, so maybe he's uh, stalking them. Or he likes charity a lot. Um, so, yeah. Without further ado, I figure I should just try it out. This is something that seemed interesting once upon a time. And the time has come for me to try it out. Okay. Uh, select an archetype. Thinker, extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas, sensitive, very psychological, a magnetic person or mag yeah, magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. Physical, extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. And then there's creating your own. Um, I guess I should create my own, right? <sighs> I wonder if you get to pick, do you get to pick that item down there? Ooh, I hope so. Okay, <laughs> so my guy, I think my guy should have average. <laughs> All right, come on. I think average. Uh, how emotionally intelligent I am. I think I'll go with good. I think I'll go with good. Uh, weak physical. Okay, I'm going to go with like, I'm definitely good. Very good. And my senses and agility. Oh, I can't go any higher for that. Okay. Uh, let's trade that down and that up. Is there a trait for palette? Probably not. No. Okay. So I have average intelligence, average psyche, good phys physicality, physique, I suppose. Uh, and I have weak senses. <laughs> I, have, I don't got the better weak motor skills more so. Uh, this might be bad. <laughs> I think I'm in the worst way. I went like kind of middle ground. I almost feel like... How? What is, how are you on about this bit still? Ah, uh, shit. Big dumb, big dumb. Good physique. Shit. I think that's fair. I'm gonna go with that. Average, average, good, weak. <laughs> sure. Do I get to pick an item? Oh. Oh, how does this work? Okay, signature skills. Wield raw intellectual power. Uh, deduce the world. Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh, there's a lot. Charm men and women play the puppet master. Ooh, okay. Let the body take control. Threaten people. Oh, that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> Go to party planet. Love and be loved by drugs. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, that'd be cool. Uh, smell everything. Let in no D or let no detail go unnoticed. Sneak under their noses. No, that's lame. Composure. No, I'm gonna have no composure. Flex powerful muscles, enjoy healthy organs, shrug off the pain, they'll have to hurt you more. Take blows, but don't let the world kill you. Uh, 
I think I'm gonna go with charm. It doesn't really line up with what I'm working, but I think I think a big part of my abilities is that I can I can quite uh, quite well. Yeah, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with this one instead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm now aggressive. <laughs> I'm basing everything on aggression. Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Uh, even the clearest water, if deep enough, can can drown. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious for men, Cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never. Ever. Simply keep non-existing. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever, baby. <laughs> Simply keep non-existing. And no matter how time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. <laughs> what was that about the X something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic source. It's bloated and shameful. The ball of I'm gonna bump the audio for this up. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. Plunge back. Uh, into the fathomless deep. No, I wanted. I want to know about the X something. <laughs> Was she hot? X tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of allergic zone. Alonzi? <laughs> Never let me go. No, I want to get off now. I like I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. No, I want to get off now. I don't or I like pain and burning light and wanting things <laughs> from people who don't want to give them to me. He's a really aggressive character, isn't he? Do you really? Don't be naive, of course not. I want to sail the inky blackness until forever ends. I do let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why do you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we? Fear and apprehension. You should ask us out there first. Why? Wait, I did this to myself. Tell me what's waiting for me. I don't care. I'm an idiot, a brave idiot. <laughs> Easy success. Is that uh, for all the options? Is that what the idea? I guess so. Um. Yes. Your one disco mother. Tell me what is waiting for me. There's this giant ball there. An evil ape. An evil ape are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. How big's the ball? How how small are the apes? Infinitesimally small. <laughs> How big is the ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're joking it out. It's that large. And this duking it out, I keep hearing about what's that? Time for resources. It's just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Oh, you. That sounds like something I would like to do. Let's go. Somewhere in the sore he's, a, he's an idiot, strong idiot, I guess. A sensation. 
Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience digs to air. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. I believe there is act, there is more than this. Desert. I think this is just how we open it. Longing, dancing to disco music. Uh, mother help me, there's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Please no, I changed my mind. Take me back to the formless disembodied nothing. Uh, mom. Stench of liquor rises from your mouth. And with it, an ungodly headache. Help someone cut my head off. It's trying to murder the rest of me. A fiery streak penetrates your skull. Trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. Open your eyes. Looking good so far. This is interesting as hell. I know very little about this game. Very little about this game. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, before I do anything more, let me do a quick uh, voiceover volume. Should probably be up to, like, even here, in all honesty. UI volume, weather volume, environment volume. These are probably all okay where they're at. Uh, I don't know if I should increase that or not. I would usually honestly have it like that. I think for the sake of it being a good thing to stream, I'll just keep it on that. Dialogue text probably makes sense to be where it's at there. I guess we'll see as I go on. Let's continue on further. Okay. <laughs> Seen better days. Yeah, take that. <laughs> I didn't find the pants though. Okay. <laughs> Pop those on. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what's that about? The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Assess the damage. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. What do you there mean? There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. What am I Something doing? Something you've done before. Assess the size of the damage. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. How's that volume, by the way, for the, for the audio there? And how's the text? Should the text be larger or is this fine? Like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which, coincidentally, is missing its friend. I don't think he's got any of that. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. <laughs> now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Maybe it wasn't me. You mean... Someone else took your shoe off and smashed the window with it. I don't need I don't need it. I don't need anyone. I should go and get that shoe. Cold shift. wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. Shit. <laughs> Alright. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. I wouldn't say horrific. I guarantee I win this. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Hey. What you have in your hand? Fuck yeah! Is a truly hideous thick tie, with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Pull on the fan. Pull on the light bulb. Pull the. Okay. Now I gotta pull the light bulb. I don't think that's a good idea, though. 
Okay. So how do you... Can I interact with that? It's empty. Oh, so what's that? Uh, looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Uh, this reel-to-reel -reel tape player is still on, rolling empty. Sure. <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and snag that. So... Quick, a quick note for this game. This is going to be very different to anything I've ever played before at all. Um, it is a thing that intrigues me because I like the uh, I like the the dice roll kind of thing they're going on ever since we played D&D &D a bit. Um, I like stuff like that. I've been kind of keeping an eye on that uh, 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 ball dick gate. Uh, and uh, I kind of want to kind of want to pick that up because I think it'd be neat. But anyway, this is something that has a slight correlation with that. This is a very different type of game. I'll see how it goes. I want to commit and try it and go pretty far, but this could be like a whole thing. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really nothing? Really. <laughs> All recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. Wipe As the mirror. you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror, a bolt. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Maybe I should touch it first, and make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with it. <laughs> How bad could it be? Where to even begin? There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. Yeah. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. I'm sure everything's fine. Touch your nose. Touch your tongue. <laughs> That's such a nose. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose. When you honk it. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. Uh, at least my tongue's okay. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. Shit. I'm scared. I want to stop doing this. Wipe the mirror now. I mean, he's seen better days. He's... Oh, my good God. Holy shit. Okay. This image? He looks okay. What the fuck is that down there? Oh, my God. He's a freak. He's a fucking freak. You have no idea who this thing is. Dear Lord, help me. What is this? Of course I do. It's... um. Is it some kind of superstar? I think I'm a superstar. This is the phase of, phase of a late-stage alcoholic. Yeah. Too late. You Fuck. clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? <laughs> I'm not making it the faces. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Uh, I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. Please promise yourself you are not going to try it on any of the ladies. <laughs> promise, <laughs> promise and lie. No one tells me what to do. Promise you and lie. Liar. You can't even tell the truth to yourself. <laughs> Go ahead. Try something. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Attempt to stop the expression. Oh, shit. We're going here. It belongs in the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate uncontested way of life that's fucked up our species Things oh good it was smooth sailing 
People made gold and champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. Uh, quick note, Daryl, I don't know if you would have heard it. I tried doing the, um, I wasn't going to play because I couldn't get the uh, extension to work. And then I realized you're supposed to, or that, sorry, because it wanted you to try having the extension on before you went live. But then I realized, well, fuck, I'll just try to put it on and I can go and have it ready for the next one. I got it on and it doesn't generate the key at all and I can't change anything about it. So I think they just, it, I guess it's just broken now. Um, I have no idea what was wrong. I have no clue, but I'm just going to have it off, I guess. I tried. I tried. For Revachol, your city, that meant only one thing. Guillaume La Million, out of the dazzling swirl of disco music in an open air what de Nuit, somewhere in Revachol West. What the Guillaume's fuck? Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit. Then he made the expression. So I adopted it. Why? I feel the need to add a clicking sound when I make it. Click, click. Uh, how long ago? Or, well, it's, I guess. Uh, how long ago was the new? Anything else like who I am? Why did I drink myself into oblivion? I guess that's it then. Uh, that one. You have some understanding of the recent history of disco. The rest is darkness. I adopted Everyone it. Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. The click is used to spur on a horse. It also features heavily in Guillaume Le Million's regional mega hit, Don't Worry, Your Pretty Little Head. I guess that's it. It doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return. Attempt to learn, or attempt to stop the expression. It's too late. Yep. Like an image on film. <laughs> the expression. Belongs to your primary motor cortex. Let it be. <laughs> this is a weird time. I think I can only access that one from outside. Okay. So let's go over here now. I really need to get over this hangover because I'm starting to get pretty sick of wandering around. Am I going to be able to... Uh... Okay, cool. All right. Oh, hey. Hello. <laughs> I'll come to you in a sec. Something on the table. Uh, I can't do anything with it. Most people settle for bed at... Oh, oh, that just had me leave. Oh, wait, I'll, I'll get the shoe. <laughs> Hell yeah, I kind of forgot about the shoe. <laughs> Give me that. Hell yeah. Does that mean I can pop my shoes on now? Oh, they're just on. Sick. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking good. <laughs> Oh, fuck, that is a hideous tie indeed. Wow, that's awful. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. I don't like that. <laughs> no bueno. There they both are. Oh. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and like two baby crocodiles. How do they good. fit? They're balanced, comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. That's rough. That's fucking rough. Okay, so what is this? Is it just money? Oh, it is. <laughs> Alright, sure, a sec. Hello, officer. I'm a cop? The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Officer, I'm a military personnel. Or am I military personnel? Uh, turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep walking. Uh, no. She seemed perplexed by your question. Yeah, she sure did. Wait, I know. I'm a businessman. Chief executive officer, right? And why did you call me an officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well-rehearsed lies all this time. All this you've time? have been here for three days on official police business, no less. What business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Right out the gate, baby. All day. All fucking day. Absolutely. The words have already left your mouth. 
I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> what was that? That's no. not even how words are used. No! Just... Come on. Say it again. You just subscribe. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> y Yuki? Yoki, probably, with the, the, the two on each, I suppose. How are you? Hope you're good. Welcome to I've never played this before and I'm very intrigued and I've immediately told the woman that I want to have fuck on me or fuck with you. I said I want to have sex with you. <laughs> no, you see, that's not what you said. You said. <laughs> God damn it. Come on, man. Pretty, please. I said I, I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> God damn right you did. You crazy asshole, you. What kind of cup are you? I'm not sure I'm a cop at all. I sure don't remember being one. I think I might have lied. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. You're pretty. I'm sorry. I'm the sorry cop. <laughs> the stank of your desperation dry. <laughs> Ew. Gross. Ah, uh, superstar cop. I can no longer deny it. Ah, uh, yeah. Who okay, knows? Okay, sir. I have to ask. Do you really not remember? Just like that? You drank so much you lost your memory? What? <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, how are you? Hope you're well. Hi, Nicholas. <laughs> Hope you're good. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, It's obvious someone did me over. I got fucked bad. I'm sorry. It's gonna suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. That probably was a whole lot of bad, bad decision making. And for the record, no, I didn't do it. Hmm. Long, nice stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Okay, I can't go in there, I guess. <laughs> the <laughs> bugger again. Is closed. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not gonna bugger. I don't want her to make fun of me again. I have the spelling of a drunk amnesiac. <laughs> uh, the structure is more the problem. <laughs> Weekend edition of the satirical newspaper. Then it said the name and I missed it. Alright. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Internalize. What does it mean to internalize that information? <laughs> Temporary research bonus. Uh, minus one logic. Bonus, huh? <laughs> and the clouds research time. Four and a half hours. Fuck me. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's worth investigating further. <laughs> This is where the lyrics would be. Uh, big carry or big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing into it. And they won't let me belt out a fucking <laughs> a killing a killer song. Speakers connected with the radio, the music is seasoned with static. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. Utterly. And it needs to be heard. Sorry about that. <laughs> like, I'm having trouble, sir. Through a PA system. <laughs> by other people. Whether they like it or not. Ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland. Violently express yourself. Hell yeah, what should I sing when it comes to it? You have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation. But it's out there. It'll come to you. Lamentation. You'll wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. Lamentation sounds good. Uh, they'll really get a gauge on my soul with that one. Uh, I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy. Get the people going. <laughs> no. Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic song. Ah, fuck them. Oh, like this is all because he didn't get laid immediately. No you have to find something tragic to sing first, though. Finish the thought for now. 
You find a sufficient ta a tragic tape, then play it on a boombox to memorize the lyrics, then ask the cafeteria manager to perform, preferably in the night. Uh, more people at the bar then. This is going to be an interesting game that I'm very much going to do a horrible job of. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance that was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he's purposely ignoring you. So he tells me you don't like me. Look at that stuffed bird. <laughs> I could just fucking start also watching it. Are you the bartender? Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero cop. Mm. Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? <laughs> you are being sarcastic. So not only am I a cop, but I'm also a hero. Yes, you are. A real decorated hero. What I do? What did you not do? First you took the body down. Mm -hmm. Then you solved the murder. Mm -hmm. Then you didn't trash my hostel room. Maybe you even negotiated the strike. Mm -hmm. There's no way to talk to an officer. Oh, it's not? He raises his shoulders like he's about to say something more, but then gets a hold of himself. You're right. It's not. <sighs> Let me check that bird out. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. Something about it makes you feel bitter. <laughs> oh gee, I, w I wonder why. What happened to the bird, huh? Look, your buddy is over there. He looks at the door, or at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? Again with that insubordinate tone. He pretends not to hear you. Yeah, he's a dick. What happened there? I can't seemingly do much about that. Uh, the menu has been wiped clean, only the word Monday is written on it. This is a large water cooler, a large bubble is rising to the surface. Uh, the bowl, door is bolted, a sign reads, kitchen reserved for uh, personnel until 1300. The soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen, someone is working. Super cop, snorting dubious material and doing feats of forensics and singing sad oceanic songs, uh, all... At the same time. <laughs> Dude, he's truly a, a truly a gift to everybody here. Can I sneak in here? Probably not, no. A uh, sign that reads, Mess Hall Reserved for Union Members. Doors open at 1600. Uh, Royal Pinball Machine is unplugged. What do you got to say here, Wheels? Hello, sweetie. Hey. <laughs> you shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. She nods toward the man in the orange bomber. Keep me fucking waiting if I want. <laughs> Summer door closed for the winter. Uh, what's that? A bottle of rum has been knocked over. Beautiful dark liquid is spilling out. Sleep, uh, man is sleeping at the table, wearing mud caked boots and rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt uh, reads Wild Pines, encircled with a logo, or by a logo with a On tree. The rolled out of his open hand. You see a blister pack. Of headache medicine. Pick up the, the pills. Man does not mind. You probably need them more than he does. Hell yeah. Just picked up some magnesium. This item is stored in the bottom left corner of the screen above your character portrait. Mm. Use magnesium to heal your morale if you have morale damage. <laughs> Wake him up. You gently shake his shoulder, shit, but nothing happens. This man could probably sleep soundly in a ship's engine room. Wasn't that... Shit. <laughs> Fuck, I rolled like dick. Damn it. Yeah, I, uh, that's a good question. What do you know, Wheels? You have anything more to say? Can I... You shouldn't... Nah, I can't, I can't pry you further. Alright, what do you have to say? A man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, 
if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you. What do you mean? This man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are Hold sure on. of this, but why? Hold on. Who is he to me? Shake his hand and don't shake his hand. Shake his hand. Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting for your name. Uh, this is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative. Conceptualize. I don't really know my name. Say nothing. I like that. Conceptualization, medium 11. Invent a name for yourself. Hell yeah. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Fuck yeah. Your name should be deep gold and orange. Like a forest fire looming on the horizon. But mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. If that's related to uh, Twitch integration, it wasn't working. So nothing there. Uh, if that is uh, a joke, <laughs> then it went well over my head. And uh, uh, apparently not a skill. <laughs> no skill would be had if that were the case. <laughs> Ah, uh, it is not yet time. I don't really know my name. It is not yet time. Okay, then. <laughs> he, processes, he processes the information, then disregards it. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? You mean him, not toward the cafeteria manager? Yeah, I just talked to him. Uh, there must be some kind of misunderstanding. You're taking me uh, You're taking me for someone else. Nah, let's go with the... He's the manager. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Ooh, that's good. Here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? All right. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? I have. Good. But <sighs> even if you haven't, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Okay. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? If you remove the dead body from the tree... Completely. No. So, the body is still in the tree. I guess so. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. Yeah, so it would seem. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Seven days? Holy shit. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? How can you be so sure? Uh, I'm from the police, but I can't remember anything. What were we supposed to do again? Let's get going. Uh, what if I told you I'm not a cop? No. How can you be so sure I'm a cop? I was sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. Uh... I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. Ah, uh, you said insignia on these white rectangles, you mean? Point to your slave. Okay, then. He nods. Uh, but I can't remember anything. I can see you drank last night. Yeah. Night before. Yeah. But you're still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Might swim I by after. Good about now. This thing is pulsating with discomfort. The best cure for a headache is, of course, morphine. They won't have that, so cigarettes will have to do. Okay, I'll after see you later, you, officer. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Wait, shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? Pretend you found it. I have my badge. I'm a policeman and I have my badge. All day? Oh, if you didn't have your badge, then that would be very bad. You would need to report it on my shortwave. But since you do have it, <laughs> we can go straight to the task at hand. <laughs> Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. <laughs> you can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. <laughs> Strange uniforms. It can either be a bombing jacket or disco clothes. Uh, they apparently just strap the insignia on whatever. Oh yeah, I guess. 
I guess so. It's sort of so it's a it's a inclusive group, I guess. All right, let me investigate. What do you have Hello, to say for sweetie. yourself, little fucker? Wait, who's sweetie? Who the fuck? Who the fuck is that? Why you are, officer? I'm no sweetie. <laughs> uh, maybe I am. And have you found anyone to be sweet to? She smiles conspiratorially. <laughs> I had once winked twice, but then I lost her. I don't know. Wink. Maybe I have. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm done with this mating or with mating rituals this time around. I don't really want to talk about it right now. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm swinging. Rascal. I'm too old for you and too married besides. Ah, uh, bullshit. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Her eyes glitter over the rims of her glasses as she looks up smiling. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley crew. Hire her on the spot. <laughs> you seem to be in a chair. <laughs> How'd you like to roll with me? <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or anything. <laughs> All right, roll it. Whatever do you mean? I want you to be my wheelchaired partner in <laughs> fighting crime, riddling, or riding backwards, <laughs> of uh, or ridding backyards of corpses, catching sequence killers. Nothing. I was thinking of the lyrics to a song. Want to roll with me? Now this. Sequence killers? Oh my. She sounds impressed. But I think you already have a partner, sweetie. Bitch. A partner who needs you to help him get a crop <laughs> from the tree. Oh, thanks, Kim. I appreciate it. Uh, you're probably right, Kim. It seems to me that you lucked out with your partner. He has the look of an upstanding officer of the law. Someone you can lean on, and sweetie, you are looking unsteady. You seem to be in a chair. What's that about? Yes, dear. Uh, I'm a paraplegic. A paraplegic? is someone with limited or no ability to use the lower half of their body. Paraplegia is caused by spinal cord injuries, like falling from a great height, or a grenade explosion. A grenade? <laughs> Did you fight in a war? I'm sorry, it was rude of me to mention the wheelchair. Let's move on. Thanks for clearing that up for me. <laughs> no, dear. I'm not quite that old. Although I was injured in the line of duty. Uh, were you a mountaineer? Were you a tightrope walker? Nothing so extravagant, dear. What'd you do? I was a training and development manager at a rapidly expanding mail order shoe company. You'd think it would be a safe job, but I had to be everywhere. And, well, once I happened to be under some faulty scaffolding, I was lucky. This was almost 20 years ago, and I was compensated exceptionally well. One can only dream of such payoffs nowadays. Mm, it's not bad. <laughs> That's quite all right. Let that one go. I'm used to people asking questions. I know they're thinking about it anyway. All right. I don't. I don't want her to fucking. I don't want her to see. I don't want anyone to think that I don't know what I'm doing. This is. That's a man who knows exactly what's going on. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. She gives you a small wave, bitch. All right. <laughs> fucking booking it now. All right. What do you got? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I missed this before. All day. Absolutely, I need that. <laughs> All right, the what's going on? with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. Yes. Oh, he's a dick about it. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation, so joining me from Prison 41. <laughs> how, how much of this game have you played before, by the, out of curiosity? I imagine quite some. Um, this is like, I'm, I'm going in super blind. So the skills and all that shit, uh, all the, like, I can't, which one did I take? I took like aggressive hostility or some shit like that. My my traits are uh I I was like average average oh wow I was like average average good and average or something like I'm I'm pretty not good I didn't go like complete idiot but you know 
Uh, he looks to you, realizing he still doesn't know your name. The harb harbinger of ruin. What is gold and orange like a forest fire, but smells like liquor. I'm currently in between names. Fantastic. <laughs> it's like when you've left your band, you haven't decided on <laughs> a solo artist name yet. Kim's about to say something. Let him. <laughs> nah, nah, this That's is my time. Wonderful. Really, I think so. But there's a dead body out back. No one wants to work in these conditions. It's been a week. I've been fucking around for a fucking week and there's a corpse in the back of this place? I didn't know who was behind here. Oh my god. Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. Oh no. Today, I need you to stay calm. He's not he's pretty justified in being pissed off at the cop who's just been fucking chilling out, breaking his room. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. I wish I had done that. You Almost. To call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, oh, he looks behind a paper, a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands it to the lieutenant. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, you're a savant compared to a lot of other alternatives. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Oh, I fucking... I, I gotta, I gotta see what it's like. <laughs> you go the fucking worst way. He's just a natural idiot. <laughs> and hello, how you doing? <laughs> Probably <a little> blam. <laughs> Hope you're good. But you still know your way around, yes? Yes, I know where some things are. But as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. I didn't imply that. Detective. Uh, who me? <laughs> I have everything. You? Uh, do I have questions? No, I'm good. Yeah, I have yes, questions. Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me, like yeah. a police officer would? Where's Sylvie? Went away because none of your business. Dick. Extra fine. <laughs> who killed I him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. <laughs> Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Suddenly you tense up. Blood <laughs> is being pushed to your muscle. You should hound him on this. Hound him hard. The prey drive says. Holy shit. Did you fucking no, do it? I didn't. You could tell me, Gart, you killed them, right? I didn't. I don't Why? appreciate this. What is this? Why did you have to kill him? Do I have to answer him? Is this mandatory? <laughs> The lieutenant stands motionless, <laughs> his expression unreadable. <laughs> did he hurt you? Is that why? Did you get some did you get some kind of sick kick out of killing him? What are you, an idiot? I told you I haven't killed anyone. Anyone? Have you killed someone else then? He ignores you. More. Press on. Push through. Did you kill Sylvie? Fuck you, man. That's enough. You've not entirely convinced me. That's a real pity. I can keep... After that, I can keep it going. Holy fuck, poor Kim. He's just sat here watching me do this. Oh no, it's the whole game, ain't it? Where's the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. How do we get there? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then, to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can- Alright, right, fuck you. He's a jerk. Task complete. Interview cafeteria manager. Yeah, so I nailed fast, it. You owe me 130 real. Bullshit! I don't know you shit. What's real? <laughs> uh, I don't know your thing. Oh, you don't owe me shit. Well, officer, you're right. You don't owe me shit. You owe me money. It's full of shit. We do not need to assert ourselves here. We only need instructions from him. This is the proprietor, remember? Jesus. <laughs> Sounded like extortion to me. You know, I get this all the time. Some hobo comes in here or some 
backpacking arsehole off the boat. The next day, when they oh, can't no. make their fees, they get aggressive. I just never thought I'd be in this shit with a cop. Please, just give me the money. You're under arrest. You can't arrest me. I haven't done anything. <laughs> the words no! are as if walking up the stairs. Everything is going fine until you reach the end and take one I've... step too many. <laughs> Fucking well can, bitch. Oh, so oh, apparently boy. I'm a bitch now. Okay, I'll be the bitch, and you'll be the broke cop who owes me money, and no one will arrest anyone because that's insane. How's that? Uh oh, <laughs> sir. Leash in your tongue. Holy shit, Ken. The lieutenant's voice is controlled yet threatening, like it's coming from a different person. The words nail the man to his place. Unmoving, he stares down at the counter with his cheeks reddish. Officer. You need to contact your station. Ask your people for assistance with the money you owe this place. There is a shortwave radio in my car. When you get the time, you- I'm sorry, but I can't let him stay here if he doesn't pay. He's three days on the slip. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, he'll have to work this from home. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't remember. Fuck this place. I'll take my chances on the streets. I don't want to leave this place already. That'd be a bad. I've already. I've done very bad. I think I was. I was supposed to come back here, and I didn't know that, and I fucked everything up. Uh, isn't there somewhere else I can stay around here? You can look, but the union squeezed most people out of business to fund the strike. Mm. So I don't know. Your best shot is just going home. Let's see what I can do. Good luck. I'm not coming back. <laughs> By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. I have no clue. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. I don't know, near? South, maybe? You don't really know, do you? I only have vague, or have only vague blackened images. A vague blackened image. Singular, I suppose. Like somewhere you can stay. Can I trace? Run out of money. Can I trace the way back? Somehow, to the exact street, the exact number in a building. I'll live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobo cop. You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. I, I don't know about the odds of all that. All right. You're there. The door is closed. Knock. There is no answer. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. Why are you doing this? Don't do this to me. Beauty, don't abandon me and all the ugly or all this ugliness. Swallow the emotion. I'm so alone. Oh my god, it's all the emotion. The door is closed. Knock. Still no answer. Knock. Still nothing. The lieutenant gives you a quick glance. You should punch a fucking hole in it. Holy shit! No! I suppress the urge! That's not reasonable! Slowly, your breathing normalizes. That's one lucky door. Knock Still, once more. The lieutenant, you should punch a fucking up the merm. <laughs> Alright. Okay, that's not gonna do much for me. I sure hope she's not gonna be too mad about the whole situation of, you know, I fucking tried to. Oh, hey, hang on. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. <laughs> how long have you been up already? <sighs> Fucking hour? Yeah, not long. Sweet lord, a whole hour. <laughs> and you haven't thought about rum and lemonade in all that time. You've truly extinguished all trace of yourself. Uh, now that you've mentioned it, I do need a rum and lemonade, but I'd love for Gart to serve me up a beverage. Forget it's probably not going to be... Bar. Or don't forget about it. You should totally try to get a drink there too. No! What happened, man? You no! used to be. No! Drunk. No! Go get your boring normal person drink then. Get your drink on and your act together. Find booze and drink it. Can I just? Oh yeah, it's specifically the saying I. Is in a deep slumber. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead Perhaps and ignore he's that. on his way to where you just came from, into the primordial darkness. Yeah. There is only oh, work, one it work way this time. to wake this bone idol Neat. from his slumber. Roar like a hurricane. Rip the buildings from the earth. Wake up, this is an order, I am the law. Yeah. Find a yelling man. 
the 30 something man uh slowly lifts his head and gives you a pensive look uh i needed to answer some questions you're alive you look uh look out for the long count there Wait, what no he was just sleeping seems pissed off what do you want officer tell me about wild pines that's the name of my employer I work in logistics. He doesn't sound too enthusiastic about this. How's that going? How's it going? He lets out a big yawn. Oh. Uh, Haven't you noticed what's going on outside? I've not been out yet. I've been just wandering around here for 35 minutes. Holy shit. <laughs> not sure what you mean. We're in the middle of a strike down at the arbor. Yeah, still. Trying to force some sense into the executive board of Wild Pines. Why are you still sporting their gear, dude? For one, I get you some more shut eye in the mornings. Right to work, right to sleep, I say. <laughs> uh, I don't think I want to internalize any information about that guy. Uh, wow. Actual memory returns. Oh. How would I internalize that? I don't know how long it takes for time to pass in this. It might <laughs> I assume it's not real time. Okay. Yeah, I did I needed to find a way to sing. Absolutely. Uh yeah. I'm probably not gonna I don't wanna do any of that. <laughs> All I've done so far is find my shoe. Fuck. Uh, why are they striking? They got it. Measure it. Actually, why are you it. sleeping here while they're striking? He's guarding the gate. The way he says Measurehead implies ultimate trust in this head reckoner's physical prowess. He seems like a worthy rival. You should slay him. Ah, shit. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> oh, you know what? That's a good idea. Maybe I should. Ah, uh, what about the dead body in the yard? Yeah, what about it? You seem cool with it. Do you have, uh... I'm trying to find out what you know about you it. You know, people die here every day. Someone's found in a ditch. Another one falls in a manhole. If someone has decided to die on top of a tree, then how is it my concern? Tell me what you know I about it. I can tell you this. Trouble's ahead. You have a pretty solid feeling that the man's not just mouthing off. He's strong, but even he has reasons to be cautious here. <laughs> what trouble? You heard what I said. Draw your own conclusions. That's all I know. The lieutenant gives you a little nod, then makes a note in his blue notebook. I better see that notebook. So Union people think he was a killer. He thinks, even sleepy here. This doesn't help a lot, but it's something. Good work, detective. Is that yours? Indeed. Help yourself to some. Wait, no. Ah, oh, it's empty. Sorry about that. Pal. Who's organizing that strike? The workers. The union. No leader, okay. though. I guess there's also Everard. He's in charge of the Union. He's smart. Knows how to negotiate. He's got our back. I don't need to hear about his nonsense dreams, so... The dock worker doesn't answer. His head is already back down. <laughs> Alright. You have anything else to say about all this shit I just did? Yes? Tell me about the case. What do you want to know? Uh, anything. Maybe you can tell me what you do know. To help me narrow it down a bit. I know nothing. Do you want me to brief you? Please Three do. Two days ago, the RCM emergencies desk received a report. That's very cheating. Guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling and rags hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him but use the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. 
When do we know anything about the caller? They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. Yeah, that's fine. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Why hide themselves? There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The Dock Workers Union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Let me know. Or let me just make this perfectly clear. Our job here is to find the killer. Oh my god. Of course. Uh, yeah, I understand everything. <laughs> What's the RCM? That's us. The Revachol Citizens Militia. Probably shouldn't, have asked. In this city. Probably shouldn't have asked that. The RCM, or the Revachol Citizens Militia, Shit. is the police force you and him are part of. Oh, fuck. A self-organized peace corps of the occupied city of Revachol. The RCM operates within a legal twilight, yet its authority is rarely questioned. It's super useful to know this. Hell yeah. Just to be clear. I know what I need. We are police officers. It's our job to find the killer. Uh, That's yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Uncover and arrest the killer. Uh... Okay, Good. let's continue. Why are you following me? me? <laughs> what if I want to work this case alone? Beat it, you're cramping my style. Nothing, just, <laughs> just an observation. You have a, a distinctive way of walking. If I were to walk in front of you, we would surely collide. <coughs> what do you mean distinctive? I hope you don't take this the wrong way. It's just a collegial observation. In the 57th, we call it the Jamrock Shuffle. Officers from Jamrock's 41st precinct tend to move a bit erratically. Hmm. They say it's a scene-clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's erratic, yet thorough. Prioritizes containers. That's racist, I don't prioritize containers. <laughs> okay then, you're kidding, why containers? Why that? I don't know. Containers contain, I guess. Passing along frivolous interdepartmental stereotypes is not usually his oeuvre. He regrets bringing it up. All right. I want to talk about you. Me? Yeah, you. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. We'll work better together if we have more of a report. Mm, that's a fair point. All right. For the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? You're, uh, you made all that up. That's all, that's all not real. <laughs> you made it all up. Uh, tell me a secret about no. yourself. Okay, well, <laughs> ask once more. Your brain sends the signal to your lips, but they refuse the order. Something is paralyzing them. You're pretty sure it has something to do with the lieutenant's eyebrow. It's happening to me. Anything the matter, detective? What's going on? It's like you're a puppet in his hands. Dude, I'm getting fucking outplayed here. The lieutenant relaxes his eyebrow, and you seem to regain control of yourself. Dude, you made me look like a fucking bitch. Uh, you're wearing glasses. Uh, you ever talk to yourself, you I guess. Mean? You know, when you're thinking, do you ever have conversations with, like, your brain? I have no idea what you're talking about. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. The lieutenant is a police officer of the old school. <laughs> His concerns are material and extrinsic. No, I'm fine. Shut up. But this isn't an old school case. Uh. So you never, never get any of I that, huh? I can't say that he does. No. When I need to think, I just use my notebook. The lieutenant produces his small blue notebook and idly thumbs through a few pages. Hmm. We all have our different mediums. His is written. You're super lucid, yet psychedelic. I like, I'm a big fan of these guys. To connect to your nervous system. You're special. I am, indeed, absolutely. All right, I, I'm going to go here. I do wonder why the first thing I can, or one of the first things I can say is, you're Asian, huh? No way. Good. Let's change the subject. All right, I'm out of here. I got all I need. Fuck you. Let's go. All right, let me go, you know, maybe get rid of that body that's been there for a week. 
Maybe that's a good idea. Sign reads, fuck the police. Well, that's not good. <laughs> it's not a good sign at all. I hope the snow melts in this wheelbarrow. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? The young woman looks up to you uh, with all that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You sound surprised. We don't see a lot of police around here. That's all. I have questions. Of course. What can I help you with? Who did Excuse that? Excuse me? She doesn't understand. Can I just She's point? uncomfortable. Maybe you should drop this line of questioning. Don't worry about she that. She shifts in her seat awkwardly. Uh, we need... Who are you? Me? I am just a gardener. Mmm, good to meet you, just a gardener. Another question then. No, cool. What are you doing? I'm working. What? I have a greenhouse in the yard there. She gestures over I've her shoulder. I've been trying to get some work done. But? Well, as you probably know, there's a corpse hanging from a tree there. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. Oh my Don't god. Don't worry, Miss. We are here to clean it up. Mm -hmm. We need directions. Of course. Where to? Uh, what is up north? There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements. Not a lot, really. These. The harbor gates. Some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A fleet store, too. It's in the south. Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. What about some the other side of the canal? Just coast. There's a little fishing village there and a fish market. But that got closed down ages ago. It's an interesting way to do this game. Rows of stores under a broad roof, where silvery fish were heaped on newspapers. Water, water everywhere, pouring from the heavens in the shadow of the old church. Shake it off, you seem to be in some under, under some kind of spell. Anything else? Don't want that, fuck that. <laughs> What's in the west? It's just water. No, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. That's all I should ask. No problem. Of course. I can't hit on her, too. I won't hold you back. <laughs> she wipes her brow with a canary yellow her gloves. glove. You get the feeling that you need them. You have a dead body to deal with, after all. <laughs> Can I borrow your gloves? Sure. Keep them. I have another pair. What? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking works! Really? No. <laughs> Maybe just a tiny bit of annoyance. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, thank you. What the fuck? I just stole her gloves. What'd that work? Pigs go home. The name or street name is illegible. Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe this individual is cool. What do you got going on? I am a gander and a hunter and a gatherer. Feel like a traveler. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. Keep listening. From another planet. Hey there. Oh, I wanted to hear the rest. I'm gonna fucking go sing it on the stage. Kill it. He's gonna hear me doing great and be so fucking embarrassed afterward. Uh did 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 what's going on here? It's the jam, my man. What's the jam? It's a traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, an all around clusterfuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days. How long you been here? Feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes and mazout. It's a beautiful way to, to word all this. It's, it, it is lovely. Uh, extravagantly phrased, but I can roll with it. Yeah, imagine. It's been a whole week already. So tell me, what do you need? Can you spare some change? Huh? Oh. <laughs> no, I ain't got any money. They don't want to pay for unfinished work. The bosses, man. Uh, I said, who's that? I didn't. Oh, shit, the time is passing. Oh, fuck, I'm killing daylight. Oh fuck, I'm burning daylight. Or, oh no, I'm gonna die. Or die. I'm gonna miss everything. Ah, uh, fuck. So we're broke. Got it. What else did I have to ask? Uh, what else did I have to ask you? you? Know, what you need? Ah, uh, 
anything about the dead guy. one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. It's easy to see he's telling the truth. He's kept his nose out of the dark stuff. Right, the man fuck that, then. taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. What are you hauling? Oh, high-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. You're under arrest. <laughs> no, I'm joking, my <laughs> man. Fowler runs a nice, clean business. This haul of cargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, tracksuits and that kind of thing. Yeah, I wish. They usually get Why wasn't that an option? Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. Can I get in on that? <laughs> We're pals and all, but I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. The bosses won't be happy. I love that we're pals. Uh, nothing illegal then? Not unless they've illegalized sports equipment while I was on the road. Mm. The man taps his fingers rhythmically. All right, I got no. I got nothing more. I shouldn't ask about the other shit. Don't be a stranger. All right, cool. I <laughs> like he's very, very open to chit chatting. Wait, is this? Is this? Please tell me it isn't. Before leave. you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue vapor emanates from the large Seven. engine on the back of the vehicle. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. Leave. Okay, so leave with that later. Got it. Wonderful. Okay. I am really fucking around. <laughs> A little more than I should. Jump Jams, a popular music, <laughs> music mag. Uh, a glossy magazine, most able-bodied men. The issue, or, uh, the issue hosts a top 10 list. <laughs> oh no, they're much hunkier than you. <laughs> you shouldn't feel threatened by handsome men. Don't be silly. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Why are you addressing my partner like that? Don't you welcome to Revachol me. My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government. I didn't take it that way at all. City, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. I very much miss that. I, I, beyond his name saying racist, I, I didn't. I didn't get that at all. <laughs> you tell him. It's men like you who keep Revachol <laughs> divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. All right, uh, we're we're out of here. This guy's a dick. Fuck that guy. What an asshole. I'm going to go pick out of this trash quick. Uh, all day. Hell yeah. That's big. Uh, oh, I need that. Yeah. All day. Thanks. Can't hit those guys up. All right. Yeah, that's fair. That's pretty valid, yeah. Yellow roses, dozens of them. Tulips too. You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent, except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. What's that? What is what? Um, it's a raincoat. Okay, well, she's a bitch. If you want to buy one, then it's only four real. I can't afford it yet. I'm coming back for that all day. I'm saving for that rest of the game. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says one bottle equals 10 cents. Hmm? Says. Oh, that's the tear machine. What is it? It's a machine for tear. You know, you find tear outside like bottles or whatever and put it in the machine. Then it gives you money. Uh, how do I pick up tear for the tear machine? You need a bag, I guess. We used to have some, but we gave them all out, so... Feel free to use it if you find a bag, though. Okay. Weird. Uh, melancholy pop song plays over the radio. Uh... A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal <laughs> sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. It's funny, I've seen some people pick up on that super fast and some people not. Uh, I didn't notice that at all either. I I guess I'm just, I guess I've not dealt with it enough. Maybe that's what it is. The logo is the bloodless rose, pure white, untouched by harm. 
Um, just ask me if you need anything from Saint Batiste. We Who's... don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. Wonderful. Who is that? Saint Batiste. Yeah. You know, the pharmaceuticals company. Saint Batiste Pharmaceuticals, the one that sells meds out of Saint Batiste. That one, there. She is right. Saint Batiste, the company, derives Such a its jerk. name from Saint Batiste, <laughs> the city. Itself so named because that's what it is. What do the products do? Where that really is the full etymological history. As far sure. Why don't you tell me about all of it? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Nosafed is a nasal spray. Dromine is a really good painkiller. Magnesium is a dietary supplement. Hypnogamma is... I don't really know what Hypnogamma is. I guess it makes you feel less shit. It's recommended to use after lots of partying, studying, or exercising. Thank you for explaining. Uh-huh. Wow, jerk. <laughs> Something for a better response than that? Fuck me. A colorful display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles line the shop wall. There, in that dark green glass, all in vain. The great flowing river of warmth, wine, alcohol, beer, alcohol. Yeah, and she wanted to tell me about it. <laughs> alcohol. I'm in heaven. I need it all so bad. This is not a good place for a recovering, ad a recovering addict. Yeah, I know. I need that. Um, sure. If you want something, I can get it for you. Just let me know and pay and stuff. <laughs> But I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health. But I guess you already know that. That's fine. Know this. You will never finish your alcohol quest if you don't buy beautiful alcohol. Shit, I can't afford any of that. Do you sell any under-the-counter vices? No, Frit only sells legal drugs, like the law says. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about these products. No, I don't need to hear about the alcohol. I don't care about the alcohol. All right, let's talk to you. Since Welcome you're so talkative. Frit. Feel free to look around or something. What's that magazine she's reading? What are you reading? You mean this? Yeah. Uh, she, look, uh, she looks at the cover, uh, boasting a colorful photo of two girls kissing. This is Pop Stars. It's got, like, famous people in it. It's not for sale. What the fuck? Looks like it also has something called Police de la Mode. Featured on page 34. This I approve of this. I approve of this very futuristic tap on the girls kissing. Forget about all that. What's this fashion police feature? <laughs> I'm not even interested in the magazine. I don't know why I asked. Uh, yeah, um, sure. It's where they rate different outfits famous people wear. It's kind of funny. They're kind of mean. So it's who's, who's the, the numero uno strange. guy in there right now? Does he look like this? Point at yourself. No. Point at her hat. I bet your hat would take the prize. Uh, who's the most stylish one in there? It can't be anyone from here. Anita. She's a model. Usually it... I don't need we to hear about a model. We're the police. We're the real police. <laughs> uh, I got um, questions. Okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... Well, I don't know. Maybe she could just describe it and he could just get more like, just start salivating more and more. Maybe his morale goes up. Uh, can you tell me about that body? Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so. Another guy? Not really. You know him a little? Um, no. I didn't know him at all. What'd you, what'd you say at that? What do you think happened? Um, I don't know. Okay, no, I think she's just going to be worthless. It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Okay. Alright, thank you for your uh -huh. help. Wonderful. Okay. This place stinks. Alright. Uh, so wait, how do I get back to the body? Hey there. Scott? Uh, I'm a cop. I was just messing with you. <laughs> no one's ever seen a cop scab. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. Speaking of, what brings the RCM here? To the wild north? Come to see the strife? Investigate murder, that murder. Huh? That sounds like a lot of hard work. You'd never see me investigating a murder. Yeah, it's super fun and easy, in fact. 
Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. That's okay. I have no idea what I'm doing either. I don't even know what day it is. Don't tell me. It's a better day that way. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's looking great to everybody, you know? Uh, a bit short on money, can I have some? Sure thing, my friend. I can help you out. Holy shit. Holy shit, he flips a coin toward you. Holy fuck, this is big. Come on, all day. The coin no! slips by your outstretched fingers and falls to the ground. No! What? Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to throw it like that. It's a thing we harbor folk do, passing around cargo and such. It was not meant as provocation or ridicule. The boy Adero stares at you with respect, <laughs> then gestures towards the trickles of blood adorning your clothes. <laughs> Thanks. I was at a heart attack. Say nothing. Pocket the coin. Right. Always glad to help you. We're on the same branch, you and I. Hey! Not slithering scabs. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Let's find the gates. I'm exploring. My friend, I respect the right to roam. The open range awaits. <laughs> I don't operate in that capacity. I'm not a granter of passage. Uh, can passage I just walk in? Itself. I walk right past Measurehead and go in. Who knows? Yeah, the two and a half meter tall Semini Supremus is there. Walk right past him. Okay. And press the button to unlock the door. Aha. Uh -huh. Then go past him again. Okay. And you enter the arbor through the office. Esta. <laughs> For some reason, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that easy. Don't worry, I'm sure it's not completely impossible. For example, you could best measure head in a physical confrontation. Absolutely, I can. Or you could convert to a semini supremacist worldview. Or, hmm, maybe it actually is completely impossible. Anyone beat him up? Not yet, no. He's incredibly strong. Nothing a couple of solid hooks from Dexter and Sinister won't fix. Got him. Sure. Uh, strike about. He's a chatty guy. Wants to talk about the strike. Return once you've met the union boss and are on a better footing with the organization. I shall. I shall. Uh, I should probably go to the body. <laughs> Wait, how do I? Okay. I should probably go to the body. I won't lie. I don't know where the fucking body is. I think it's on the other side of it. It says agree. <laughs> Save scum, don't it feel good when the checks succeed? Yeah, keep rolling the dice. Oh, absolutely. I'm not safe scum in a fucking thing. The goods from the lorry have hazardly litter these surroundings. I'm hoping I can actually get around there from here. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I gotta be concerned about my time I got going on here so far. Uh, call box with a matrix of push buttons lists wish. all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Clicking the this empty button one. looks new, but someone has removed the name card. Huh, this button looks new. It's probably not connected yet. Uh, that one. Silence. You hear static from the intercom speaker. Hello? Yes, hello. This is Tricentennial Electric. Have you come to place it over? She sounds almost antique, as if her voice was being played off an old wax cylinder. Yeah, I've come to place an order. Must not be working properly. Oh my God. The lieutenant exchanges a look with you. Sorry. It's you. Oh my God. I didn't think I would hear your voice. It's a woman, and she knows you. Your heart beats faster. No. Something's wrong here. Are you sure she's talking to you? Who are you? Where are you? Michelle, just please. Sounds like a ghost. Wind blows through your clothes and you feel detached from your surroundings. What the fuck? Inside the building, a cold memory hangs. I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. What I do? Ever since I came to work here, it's been different. 
as if my mind's been wiped clean. A spot of static overrides her words. When she speaks again, it sounds like she's submerged. It's so nice. It's so nice to be able to finally forget. Forget about what? She sounds like she's about to cry. The cold is deep under your skin. Really? As if you were talking to what someone who's a hundred years away. Somewhere inside the building, water is flooding the cellar floor. Hello? She doesn't answer. Are you still there? Silence. The only thing you can hear now is static and waves washing ashore on the bay. What happened? Another seagull passes by. I don't know what happened either. We should probably stop playing with this thing. Fucking hang out. Press the number sign on. What the fuck? What in the fuck? Okay. What the fuck? Kid, what the hell's your problem? Hey! Got this. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. Yeah, I see we're done. Oh yeah, not a comfy Kuno. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? <sighs> I'm over your time, Can't shithead. Talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Why not? Bringing drugs. The kid's on drugs. You think so? Yeah. It sure sounds like Who it. Knows he wipes it off from his brow and sends another rock flying. Wait, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. What the fuck? <laughs> you want to hang out? I'm not a narc. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can't watch what should we do? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. Forces? see. Uh, I have questions. All right. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. Oh, what you got there? What I hate this. Got, huh? I'm Show hoping I can. I'm I'm hoping I can drop the fuck out of this cut. <laughs> oh, the crime scene. You kids come here often. Right, pig. You can hang out with this. Kuno plays with his you throw little rocks and bodies here a lot. What do you want with it? But I have questions later. For now, let's talk about something else. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. You know about the body. Shitload pig. What's your question? <laughs> Wait, what did they even change? Oh god. How bad could it have been? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno! Kim, help me out. What do we do? If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. Yeah, that's a fair point. See anyone suspicious? Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. The what? The the what now? How do you get Probably there? Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. Didn't see it. Where'd Kuno? Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Where did you go then? I don't know. Some fucking. Trying trying to come up with something. Mess go. Oh, I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. There is no Night City <laughs> anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. Where's that? Kuno gives this info out on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. I don't know. Test and Kuno get lost. Jesus. Uh, who's Kuno? Kuno's Kuno pig. I hate this kid. Kuno. Primal. Why can't I hit this Violet. cunt? <laughs> it sounds like something you'd call a rabid dog. Uh, so yeah, the rabid dog yeah. thing. Think about it. Think about that rabid Kuno shit. God Watch damn it. Out, Kuno, he's trying to fiddle you. What? He's gonna put his hands on you. What? <laughs> what? Pig's got Kuno. What Pig's the fuck? Me. What the fuck? Help! He's got the Kuno. Help! What the fuck? No! No! What is this? Help! He's digging his dick out! Escalate 
Wait, Kuno, his dick is out. You were afraid. <laughs> Pigs in it, in Kuno. What the, the fuck? <laughs> it's full blast now. The wind carries the message far and wide across. Far. Dude, no, no one's gonna talk to me anymore. He knows there's nothing you can do to him. Oh. He's bullying you, and you are helpless. Kill him. Kill him. Kill, Kill him. him. Kill him. Kill him. He won't see death coming. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> you didn't shut him down. Your fat fist didn't meet its target. Instead, it pulled you down with it. Oh my god! What do you mean? Oh, fuck! Oh shit! Oh no! Say nothing. Try to hold it together. Pigs trying not to cry. Kuno can't believe this shit. <laughs> no one stop the Kuno. Oh no! Oh no! Pigs, Kuno thought you had this. What happened? Kuno can't do anything now. <laughs> fuck your shoulder. Fuck your knee. Fuck your fat body up. Oh no! Stop, stop laughing! The creature behind the fence makes it a point to laugh even harder. <laughs> Kuno made you his fucking. <laughs> God damn it! The lieutenant isn't laughing at all. <laughs> you have any idea what kind of shit you got yourself into? He's gonna kick me, isn't he? He's gonna fucking kick me while I'm <laughs> fucking down. All right, you little shit. Kuno's just gonna beat the shit out of you again. He's clearly in awe of himself right I now. I told you not to tempt such forces. The annoyance of his voice is directed at you, not the gremlins. Now, how about we go and do something worth the public's time? Shit, I'm wasting so much time. It smells like spoiled meat and <laughs> for fuck's sake, this is just misery. This is awful. God damn this it. trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. There's something in there, not necessarily connected to the case, but still. I'm checking that trash it out. Is a container. What do you think's trash, in there? Food waste from the cafeteria. They lock these containers to keep the derelicts from flocking in. We should open it. Open it. How do we get the we lock open? Try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage, or... Or, Lieutenant? Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the Whirling in Rags. He probably has one. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. By the way, I'm gonna get pelted with a rock the second I fucking go there, aren't I? Uh, what's in here? God damn it, I'm so fucked. Absolutely and absolutely. I'm gonna need some of that to fucking deal with some of that shit. Hmm. <laughs> it's over here. It's a lot of shit. Oh my god, you this is gonna be an, an insane fucking pile game. Of the roofing material eat tonight. What's this? It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. Why am I looking at it? Because it's nice and orderly. No. There's more to this. You get this strange feeling. You feel like hard to say. It's gone now. Yeah, I missed the chance, so whatever it was is gone, I suppose. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, oh, I can't actually go over there. Okay, fine. Uh, hey, what's this about? Yeah. All right, I need to take this body the down. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag. How is that kid not throwing rocks at me? You seem to be holding your breath. Look down. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. God, what is that? Why is it so bad? It's a like dead body. <laughs> yeah. Took it to throw up with his arm. No one is judging. He's about to blow. Cock's gonna blow, Kuno. No, I'm not. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth. More instant and more familiar than any- Walk away. God damn it. 
God damn it. Why didn't I just leave? Why didn't I just leave? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Too late. It's impossible to keep him. Until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. Fucking corpse. Keep it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, the man. Is clearly making these words for you. That's nice. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Think that'd help? Can handle the headache. Some officers use it to deal with cadaverine odor. Do I? Do I have that on me? Uh, can't check my fucking pocket right now. Uh, okay. Okay. But not you. I can't handle the headache. Mm. It's more likely he can handle the smell, unlike you. <laughs> Where do we get that? The young woman, the gardener, mentioned she used salts for the smell. If she doesn't have any, there might be some in the Frit store nearby. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Hmm. That's interesting. Alright. Yeah, let's get out of here. I can't do anything more than that, huh? Ladder for kid. No, what? I don't want to climb up the there fucking are ladder. footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Kind of Every boots. worker's boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. They're that determined, you know. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Lieutenant, worker's boots point to them. Noted. All right. Uh, it's going to exact count. It said like twelve, six to twelve. Maybe more than twelve. No. Ooh. Eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Go over them one by one. one standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Holy shit. Of two. Standard work boot. Three. Hobnailed work boot. Four. Standard work boot. Number 45 or 46. Wait, which is it? You don't know. It's a miracle you can tell the prints apart as it is. Count five, more. Five. Another standard. Okay. Six. Impossible to tell. Male or female. Could also have been an adolescent. Mm. The gate is undeveloped. Mm. Pretty good at the same eye. You're not bad. <laughs> it's as if the whole world darkens. Mm. Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it. Count the rest. Seven. The glowing outline of a standard work boot. Eight. And yet another standard work boot. Number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the soul, however. The mm. right. How many? 400 million say nothing it was eight i was pretty off then i counted 20. uh the same guys are going back and forth i never got the hang of it hyperopia do you see anything out of the ordinary light step number 41 shoe a heavy one 200 kilogram imprint yeah that's interesting An aberration uh that one could be easier to check interesting any that's ideas on that the old soul someone operating a workbench with a pedal like a joiner at the harbor or maybe a drummer hmm. a drummer only uses their right foot for the kick drum i did not right it's stupid no Perhaps no be a driver a driver would wear out the right shoe before the left the accelerator is on the right if only i had come up with that idea it doesn't seem to hear you Oh. Looking south toward the traffic jam instead. We should ah. keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to do a great job of all that. Prudent mm. indeed. <clears throat> the heavy one, 200? too. 200? Could it be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. Yeah, makes a lot he of sense. Right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. <laughs> uh, maybe it was a giant, could have been an extremely obese person. Yeah, well, it's probably Possibly, Karen. yes. Yeah, what do you think Hello, they are? Maybe. Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller. It yeah. is not impossible. I did not. last week's forecast for coastal Havashol. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last warm day. Correct again. 
Mm. Sub zero temperatures would preserve. Light sap on number 41. Or a kid? No, to be sure. Understood. I guess. Anything else? Uh, what do you think happened? What do you think this is all about? Been through all of it. Yeah, the other stuff isn't uh, required. I can push on. Man, so I have to get some ability to go up top for that. I don't know what the fuck that was all about on that thing. I kind of want to investigate it more, but I don't know if I can. So I'm going to have to ask this woman to give me some of that salt. Hello again, officer. And also, uh, maybe I can steal more things from this poor lady. Sure. I'm done with them. Holy shit. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. Understand. Thank you. Preach. All right, let me go in here. I have to go talk that guy up. It's 11. Oh, fuck. It's been so long, dude. I'm fucking oh, I'm burning daylight. Oh, I wonder if I can do anything. Wait, can I do anything better with the gloves now? Or is that literally nothing? Well, then I can sell his shit. I can go sell the thing that he gave me. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Ooh, bit of a hitch there. Hello again, sweetie. Uh, Sweetie needs money. Do sweeties get money? Oh, sweetie, I heard your conversation with the manager about your financial troubles. When do you get your next paycheck? <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna. You've got guns of steel, chiseled <laughs> jaw, somewhere under the bloated alcohol layer. Maybe she'd like to sponsor you. Tug on our heartstrings. Your deportment remains dignified as you shed a single manly tear. It's tragic. It isn't easy for me to ask this of anyone, but I am at the end of my rope. Any money you have would help me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sweetie, I only have a few cents on me. But Fuck! I, I could give you this to pawn just to tide you over. Absolutely. Wonderful. He has a pin. The pin is round and slightly tarnished. Three sailboats in bas relief with the sun hovering over the water behind them. A chipped green banner at the bottom reads, Sam Baptiste, Summer 31. Ding Interesting. Places. Interesting. Correlates to where they make all them drugs, huh? Thank you. You're quite welcome, dear. Thanks, man. That was very nice. About that pin. You were able to pawn that old trinket. Trying to thank oh, you again. Of course, dear. I just wish I could have done more. I hope she doesn't mind that I... Yeah, I'm sure that'll be fine. I'm sure that's super fine. Hey, Can dickhead. I help you? Ah, trash container out back. Mine? No, it belongs to the whirling in rags. Thank you for clearing the up. Why do you keep the container locked? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. I mm. thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little mm. callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. Sad. Prod at him and find out. Uh, uh, we need those keys. What do you need them for? It concerns the case. Ah, please copy. There's a fucking body. That makes a lot of fucking sense. Just bring them back once you're done, please. Not a chance. Can you pour me do a drink, though, too? I have a shaker in my hand. Is this... Is this a shaker? There's nothing Am there. Am I wearing a little bow tie? Am I wearing a bow tie and doing this? No. Am I smiling? Do you see me smiling and shaking my little shaker? No. Do you know why? Why? Because I'm not a bartender. I'm a cafeteria manager. Is there anything else you wanted? Yeah. What you want pour the is a goddamn drink. Yeah. Play it calm. This man needs to understand you need a drink to help the community deal with police stuff. I'm an alcohol operator detective. If you want me to clear up the body and solve the case, then you need to insert alcohol into my mouth. I want a fucking drink. <laughs> you don't understand the seriousness of the situation. I'm an alcoholic. I need my fix. Go on to the third. Oh, well, in that case, let me pour you a nice, big, refreshing marinella. Do you want that out of a glass? You do not want to taunt me, not when it comes to <laughs> marinella, marinellas? Don't be an imbecile. I'm not going to serve you a marinella. I have work to do and broken things to fix. If that was all, I'd like to return to it. I've seen something here at the Whirling Gart. Or at the Whirling Gart. Uh, thing I need to talk to what you about. thing? 
saw a sign that uh, said that the mess hall is reserved for the Union. Yes, not the whole damn Union, thank God. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But we should find out who this Lord faction is occupying the booth. Lordness means talkative, and we need info. Yeah, that'd be good. That would we be don't. good. Thank you. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even striking men. If not today, then they'll be here tomorrow. We want to go check out that kitchen. What are you, a cook now? That's none of your business. I have a search warrant. No, you don't. You better fucking Fuck believe it. it. Lay off the swear words. They don't make you cool. Besides, the RCM doesn't do search warrants. I know the law. God damn it. You'll just have to wait for the kitchen to open. If you Fuck. You do realize you can just go into the kitchen at 1300 hours. No need for superstar charm or Sambo style antics here. I didn't know that. I forgot that. Sambo is an acronym for Samaran boxing. Graceful martial arts stuff. Fuck. Sambo style implies... What? By the way, you should come back to this thing-based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. I think I will. I'm gonna sing karaoke here, Absolutely by the way. Absolutely out of the question. What the fuck? Absolutely in the question. <laughs> First, we find a sad banger. Then we sing this place to shit. <laughs> another thing. thing. Great. Yeah. No, then. Mother... Yes. Yeah, I'm out of here. All right. Let me go see if the ladies uh, are up now. By the way, it's starting to get late. I'm probably going to bow out uh, after I very likely fuck some up here. The door is closed. Knock Still, again. The lieutenant gives you. You should punch a fucking hole in it. Suppress the, the urge. in your ears recedes slowly. Try the this handle? This door can only be opened with a key. Okay. She's been showering for, like, hours. She's up to something, I can tell. I wonder if that's how I access the top. Oh, probably, right? If that's the only other room I can enter. That probably makes sense. Dude, I have accomplished so little. I want to see if the gloves help me do anything. Maybe I can punch the kid easier now. Hey, right, dickhead! Look, see, it's the fucking war pig. Fuck you! You yourself before the Kuno. Now you must seek his forgiveness. You, uh, you get the fuck out of here! Whoa, whoa! What's this psycho shit? He's trying to forget it, Kuno. Don't let him forget it just like that. Oh no! Reminisce with Kuno. First, you try to fiddle this. Then you punch oh yourself in the face. No. What was up with that? Yeah, no. no. What was that? God. How fuck. How's enemy Kuno forget that shit, huh? I don't have anything. Please don't waste time on nonsense. The lieutenant does not approve of this. Don't listen to the blind fuck, <laughs> You're doing the right thing here. Trying to get Kuno to like you again. You can pay tribute to Kuno with drugs. Or cigarettes, or some wheels. Kuno could use some wheels. Motorized carriage shit. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm out. I'm out of here. I don't want. I don't want to deal with the kid. I'm sick of him. That's probably like this the worst skill check. The well-oiled crack. The lock pops open. It should now be possible to simply raise the lid. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't. What? Then I just have a premonition that there's something here. There is. But you won't like it. I'm open the that. smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see. see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. Uh, pick up the rags. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. Our naked friend could probably be a bit of that. As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. <laughs> oh, it could have been worse than that, huh? That's good. Cadaverino door is faint. If these belonged to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. Drop them in here, officer. Okay, bag the trousers, Guitar indeed. marked blue jeans. Pockets empty or emptied. He wore them with a belt, too. A white belt. The, the belt is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? Something slimy catches your eye. Ah, I reach for a it. drab, long sleeved shirt, olive colored, 
the pills. Bag this the shirt. is a military type over garment. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. A yellow old mug that catches your eye. Oh, there's shit. Right. Then they worry about. Go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or that one. I'd advise against confronting that force. I'm not going there. Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash. The, okay. the lieutenant nods, then looks back. Uh, the container. I'm getting that mug. I don't want the mug. <laughs> you see milk an egg rest with one broken egg in it. A ah, box falls gross. into pieces in your hands. Search the food Just waste, I guess. Waste, cold and slimy on your hands. I got a glove. Apple, no, I got gloves. Potato pills, mostly. I should I'm be fine. Fight sludge and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. But hey, nothing. It's nothing. Nothing more to see here. What's this? Elbows out. There's more. There's nothing more here now. Nah, what? A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple peels. Give me Something that. larger. A clipboard. A blue plastic clipboard with moist papers hanging from it. They look badly damaged, but you no, can still make out. No, I have them on. Notes. They're on it's right a now. Man's handwriting. Officer, is that your paperwork? I don't know what this is. It is. Look, the plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form in there. Hmm. Miserable looking slip of paper sticks to the if board. If you don't mind me asking, how did this get in the trash? It has a foreboding quality to it. Maybe I needed to lose it for the great bloodletting to begin. It got in here while the other shit was in here. That's interesting. That's been cramping my style. I think I didn't want to be a cop anymore as I threw it away. Someone from the... Oh, maybe yeah, someone tossed it. Boring. Try dangerous. <coughs> you should do a thorough inventory of that. Be sure some has not fallen into the hands of the RCM's enemies. Organized crime or worse. Official notes sometimes contain informants' names, even undercover operatives. I'm not it's also word. not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Anyway, where were we? Ted appears in the trash. Some items, such as the ledger you found, are interactable. Go the container yeah. sounds a muffled gong. Okay. Well, that's one thing off the list. Interesting. So I will need to give that back. Uh, not bad. So, I leveled up. I probably shouldn't have put that into that. You can actually revert it, though, afterward. That's kind of cool. And I can interact with that. So what does that mean if I interact with that? Easy interact button in order to inspect it. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A pitiful cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from plastic board. Anything else it in there? It's a piece of toilet paper. Or is it cleaning tissue? Mm. No, it's toilet paper. Desperately sticking to the back of the blue plastic clipboard. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I guess so. It's a metaphor. For you. Below the pathetics. Shame. Terror. Do not look into its blue heart. Browse the... Oh, God. Okay. Inspect the toilet paper. It's just toilet paper. Stick into the back of the plastic clipboard. Take that off. Still wet. The toilet paper peels off the plastic easily. All you have to do is shake it off with your finger and... <laughs> voila. The ledger now looks marginally better. Inspect that clip. An aluminium block <laughs> runs That's so weirdly the involved. Writing down on the paperwork. Fascinating. Teeth are the only how much? Thing oh, how long together. is the script for this fucking a game? A regular pencil, the tip worn down to nothing. Don't even want to think has about been it. Attached to the clip. Bring your finger through the air across the aluminum. The surface is interrupted by a silvery sticker. Aluminium, whatever the fuck. Sparkling with iridescence. What's this about? What? That thing. It's a halogen watermark. We use it for adding information to RCM property. How can I read Any it? Any capable light with the right wavelength will do. Hmm, for example... All RCM vehicles have headlights designed to reveal halogen watermarks. Mine too. What the fuck? This means you can read the watermarks if you just turn the lights on. Kind of information it depends, gets in there. Aside from an anti-counterfeiting stamp, mine has my station number and address. How many years you've been on the force, he's thinking. It'll have that. Your kill count. Yours will surely have your kill count. 
Oh god, that's it. Okay. I like that. While a bunch of sodden papers sag from the clipboard in your hand, it's a sorry sight. I mean, browse the white exactly papers. White. They're yellowed in patches. By uh, let's get to do, 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 okay. Once in a while, there's a red stamp that exclaims, Case files commit to paper. The case files themselves in are there. Plenty. What are they about? Work, strife, poverty, the Jamrock Quarter. These are handwritten logs of investigations dating back to January 51 this year. The exact number is hard to estimate due to missing pages and an odd naming convention. She's it's the committed. middle of March. You have attempted two cases a week on average. That sounds pretty in <laughs> insane. Is two cases a week a good case, though, Lieutenant? Huh? Two complex cases to undertake is a lot, yes. You really have to push yourself. I would not suggest it, lest you start making mistakes. That's been my workload, and I'm not sure I completed them, though. Two? That's a lot. I didn't mean to say you are making mistakes, by the way. That was presumptuous of me. Uh, it's, I'm, uh, I'm sure I made plenty of mistakes. It's okay. <laughs> we all make mistakes. Oh, yeah, fuck them, whatever. Like a fan of girls, <laughs> the checkered papers dry in your head. Count pages. There is for precisely one more. Fifteen pages near the end remain untouched by the damage. The checkered grid forms a structure of passages, breaking the case into subtasks to accomplish. Commit to the paper? What can I commit to Sadly, the paper? the letter only comes with an old, worn-down lead pencil. You got a pen? The lieutenant looks at his blue notebook. Two fat, shiny pens hang from the binder. I am not like doing what I should be doing. Bullets. Yeah, I need a pen he for that. He's not really saying anything. Just standing there. Can I have one? Did I give this to you with resentment? <coughs> with this beauty, commit to paper. The tasks you've completed flow out of the blue oblong pen. <laughs> I pissed him off because I took that. Uncannily similar to the rest of the letters. The wording comes easily. It's almost robotically simple. A language developed for mental rigor and simplicity. Inspect the victim's body. Interview the cafeteria manager. It's not exactly poetry, but poetry would be out of place. Cross out what I've finished. Satisfying slash sounds across <laughs> the paper. And a fuck you to you too. That last one cuts a slash right through the paper. Things to be done and things <laughs> already done. What the a fuck? composition of reality. This is an extremely useful tool for a detective of the citizen's militia. Oh, I've we're not. Actually. Any ideas? You've named it yet, dude? It's fucking the hanged man. Great. That's All day. Great. That's actually what I was thinking too. Perfect. I'm going to start calling it the hang. Ah. It's good to be sorted this out. <laughs> That's fantastic, dude. I'm glad I helped out. That's going to make up for fucking me taking that pen, dude. <laughs> All right. I'm done inspecting these. As mentioned of naming yes, convention. It don't to think I need to care about that too much. One that draws inspiration. This is silly. Fiction and Vespertine cop show staples. Yes. All caps. One is called the Next World Mural. Another, others appear. This is. Like I don't think this is anything. Is grimy, murdering, don't you? The guys on the the guys on a couch in an unexpected location. The murder at the hookah parlor. Collapsing tenant tenement. Uh, okay. It's going to take an effort to piece. All my cases case employ a naming together, convention similar to what we used in ours. How very childish of you. <laughs> In your and my defense, almost everyone in the RCM uses the titular system. In a that? It's a holdover from the early days of the RCM, <laughs> right after the revolution, when the organization had little idea how to do things. It persists in an unofficial capacity. I'm not going to pry to any of that shit further. Them. So much as distance yourself from the smelly papers. They're a little further from your nose. I'm going to put that down for now. I'll have to fucking check that later, assuming I remember. <laughs> Can I do anything with? Oh, fuck! I want to like I want to try to hand it back to him and like take it. Yes. Do I give him? Nah, nothing more. Okay, so I am going to. It's a weird spot to do so, but I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna save there, and I'm gonna main menu. Yes. I am very intrigued by whatever is going on. Sorry for the <laughs> dive out of there. I'm intrigued by whatever the hell is going on here. It's fucking fascinating. 
I have so much more to do. I This is supposed to be like a 23 or something hour game. I just spent two hours doing fuck all. It hasn't even switched to noon. It's, it's just at noon. It only hit noon like a second ago. I've been just fucking around the whole time. But <laughs> it's interesting. It's intriguing. And it feels like the kind of thing to get lost in. There's a lot. There's a lot. I'm excited to see what happens with it. Uh, we shall see as time gets further on. Um, yeah, it's a shame that Twitch integration didn't work. Uh, that is what it is, though. I'm excited to try more of this and see what could happen. Fingies, uh, crossed. Here's hoping I can get a good bit further. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully I can get uh, a good run of this. It'd be nice. And hopefully I can kick that kid's fucking ass. <laughs> And try to bang that lady that uh, uh, went to have like a three hour long shower. <laughs> that too. <laughs> well, we'll make it work.